Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the in-group in Phoenix, Arizona. About a year and a half ago, I bought about an 800-piece Led Zeppelin collection. And at the time, I wanted to do a video of it, but never happened. It was about 40 acetates, box sets, colored vinyl. I bought the last of the collection earlier this week, and I figured I'd show it to you. It's pretty impressive. Uh, first thing is this Earl's Court red metal acetate. Uh, the previous collection had three, four, and five, or excuse me, two, three, and four, which I sold on eBay, but uh, I never did get number one, but finally got the, the rest of the acetate here. 10 disc box. Strange Tales from the Road. This was a colored box set, 10 discs, and they were all on multicolored wax. Green. Kind of get the idea. This was kind of just a multitude of shows. All right, Nebworth. This is the uh, four disc version, and this is on black wax. This was probably the most complete. Led Zeppelin bootleg collection I've ever seen. It was, like I said, about 800 pieces, maybe a little over with this last stack. Colored wax, maybe 30 plus these acetates. Maybe there was about 40 acetates. This is the BBC four disc on toasted. Not too much of a big deal now that you can get official releases of most of that stuff. This is Carnival. I know in the previous collection this came, I think on a yellow wax we got it on, but here's a black wax version. Here are some picture discs. This is Osaka. This was a three disc set. Another picture disc. This is the last rehearsal, 1980. Black wax. Live at the LA Forum. This is on red wax. Live in Japan, my brain hurts. This came out in quite a few different configurations. This particular one is labeled from Mexico, numbered. This is four or 500. Moby Dick, live at the Fillmore. This is black wax. One of the more well-known box sets. This is Destroyer. And this particular one is a colored wax version. Hmm. And you can see it was, this was a splatter wax variation. The previous batch of records had the uh, standard black wax version. This is a two disc set live in Osaka. Black wax. Here is uh, the Nebworth concert. Black wax. This is part two. August 4th.
There is uh, part one. And that's on the TMOQ label. Here is another Osaka. This particular one is on blue wax purple. Yeah, nice purple wax on this one. That's the rest of it there. Actually, what is it? That's part one, and then the back insert looks like it's for part two. And we've got more alive in Osaka. on the full disclosure label, black wax. Now most of this collection I resold. I'm not a big fan of bootlegs just because of the sound quality, but he had a pretty extensive collection of white label promos, UK pressings, uh, a lot of Japanese records with the OV. Those I kept. All the bootlegs I sold. This is Madison Square Garden. This is on red wax. This is colored vinyl. This is live at the Fillmore West, 1969. Nice orange wax. This is Switzerland, 1980. Some of these later 80s concerts actually don't sound that bad. They were soundboard recordings. But unfortunately by the 80s, the show wasn't as good as <laughs> the earlier shows. Here's an acetate. This one I uh, have not been able to find. This is a gold acetate. if I dig around I'll find something on it but uh, Fillmore East 1968 which probably is a gimmick because I don't believe in 68 they were formed yet so that was probably just kind of a, a gimmick to entice you to pay pay up and buy it this is uh, the best of live. Blue wax. That is volume two. And there's the best of live. Volume one. Black wax. Zeppelin 71 Seattle Days TMOQ Colored Wax on this one Bonzo's Birthday Party This one is on colored wax. Looks like green and yellow. It's funny, in that last uh, haul of about 800 <coughs> pieces, I want to say half of uh, an entire box was nothing but Bonzo's birthday party and Blueberry Hill variations. And here there's even more. Here's Blueberry Hill on Yellow wax. Let's 
Another really common one that was redone multiple times. This is going to California. This is green wax. More Bonzo's birthday party. Looks like this one is on purple splatter. Another Nevenworth, Nebworth, black vinyl. That's volume two, this is volume one. What do we got here? Box set, this is another destroyer box set. This is on black vinyl. The thing about the bootlegs is collecting these things could be endless because bootlegs were quite frequently booted. Repetitively, so you'd get one bootleg and it would turn into ten bootlegs. This is Hiroshima. Now, this is actually an acetate. That's part one. That's a standard black metal acetate. And here is part two black metal acetate as well. Live in Japan, another acetate. It's actually quite nice. This is a red metal acetate. And most of the stuff from this collection was unplayed. And I mean, originally this had a can in it. It had, I mean, everything you could possibly imagine. And the only main piece I know of that it didn't have in it was a final option. sick looking so that is stairway to heaven this is uh, nothing special robert plant manic nirvana box numbered real low well, it's only fifteen thousand this is Another copy of Blueberry Hill. Another Japanese. This is on toasted. It looks like white vinyl. Multicolor, this is a nice splattered wax. In the white, 1969. And this is performed live in Seattle. This is black wax. And like I said, the last time I bought from this individual, the beginning of the collection was about a year ago. And I probably still have about, about 200 pieces left from the collection. Like I said, it was pretty massive. And that's so far for this stack. But if you take a look around the store, I mean, here's some of the stuff from the last collection on the wall. These are a lot of the more moderate priced pieces. And if you come on over to the showcase here, I'll kind of show you some of the, some of the better stuff. There's a couple of acetates live in West Germany, part one and two, West Allison State. I've got farther down below, I've got some colored wax, Madison Square Garden. There was some live at the Budokan, 
There was a Lucifer Rising, Detroit, Michigan, Last Stand. You know, you can kind of see on the top shelf, Copenhagen. And then if I take you to the Led Zeppelin bin, you'll kind of see where the remaining So and this is kind of the leftover boots here. You, know, you can kind of all vinyl, no CDs, no books. Oh, I got one more spot too, I'll show you. I got a cubby in the back because I ran out of space on the wall. Follow me back here. Here's kind of a cubby of some of the, the wall stuff. Let's see where it's at here. There's a platinum, Robert and Jimmy. It was all kind of left over. Nobody's fault but mine. Is that one off of Europe? Live Aid. And that's about all of it. But yeah, that took a few more. Killing Floor, Bondo's Birthday Party, Duck Walk. It was a pretty extensive collection. I wish I took a video of it in the beginning. Unfortunately, I didn't. Like I said, it was about 800 pieces. But uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.